News Flash. Welcome back to the news. And today we're here with author illustrator Erin the Great to discuss her upcoming new children's book, Mr. Mailbox Man Goes to Work. So, tell me, Erin, what inspired you to write this book? I would say my love for letter writing inspires me. Um, Mr. Mailbox Man ob obviously represents the, the letters being sent and mailed to your friends. And I, I think it's kind of a, an exciting surprise to find a letter, a handwritten letter, in the mailbox. Are there any characters that you based off in this book in real life? I, I don't think Mr. Mailbox Man is based on somebody individually, but I always thought of him as somebody you see in your community every day and is just very friendly and says hi to you. You know when you're walking down the street and you and somebody smiles at you and asks how you're doing. He kind of reminds me of that person. We we see these people who make the community go who make the community run like policemen and police officers and fire fighters and Mr. Mailbox Man just is one of those guys that you see. Okay, I see. Do you have any other books? I do have I have two books that I wrote with, or I illustrated, and the writer is a local Atlanta author, um, Kelly Young Silverman. They're two bedtime stories, uh, the first one being Man in the Moon, and the second one being Where's Wilson. How much junk mail does Mr. Mailbox Man get? Well, Obviously, you can see that Mr. Mailbox Man has a very round belly, and I think it's because of all the pizza coupons he gets. <laughs> there is a very important question from the audience. Do you like peanut butter and jelly sandwiches? Well, that's all, folks. Thank you for your time. Congratulations on your new book release. I can't wait to see what you come out with next.